In this, I'm gonna be showing you how to build a full stack OpenAI chat app with GPT-3 and Dolly in under six minutes. So for the tech stack that we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using all of this. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is open up Visual Studio Code and open up a terminal instance. Once we're in there, we're gonna make a directory called chat app. We're gonna go into the directory and we're going to make a file backend.js and a .env. Once we have that, we're gonna make another folder called public. Then we're gonna make an index.html, style CSS, and index.js. Once that's set up, we're gonna hop over to our index.html file, link our style sheet, and create a container for where the messages are gonna come in. Once we have that, we're gonna create a form. Within the form, we're gonna have two dropdowns, one where you can select a name, one where you can select the model, whether it's Dolly or GPT, we're gonna have a input where you can uh, input your message, and then we're gonna have a button where you send the form. Finally, we're gonna include the socket IO CDN, and then we're gonna link our front end JavaScript file. So since CSS isn't the focus of this video, I'm just gonna include the styles that I'm using in this example. You can go to the link below, or you can go to this link in the description of the video where I'll include this whole simple CSS file that you can just go and reach for. The next thing we're gonna do is set up our client-side JavaScript in our index.js. So the first thing we're gonna do is establish a connection to our socket IO server that we're gonna be setting up. We're gonna get all the DOM elements that we're gonna be interacting with. Once we have those, we're gonna set up an event listener on the submission of the form. Then we're gonna reference the values for the model and the name that we're gonna to be toggling uh, between. Once we have that, we're gonna disable the uh, default behavior of the form and then emit a chat message if there's a length within the input and then finally clear that input. Next, we're going to be leveraging Socket.io to listen for a chat message to come back from the server. And then once we have that chat message, we're going to create an LI within our UL list. We're going to use the logo if the name is GPT-3 or Dolly. And if it's GPT-3, we're going to append a message. If it's Dolly, we're going to include the message within an image tag. And if it's another input, we're just going to include the name and the message. Then finally, we're going to add that LI to the message list, and then we're going to scroll to the bottom of the chat window. Next, we're going to be heading over to the OpenAI website. We're going to be getting our API key here. So if you haven't made an account already, go ahead and do so. Uh, we're going to go to the API link at the top of the page. Then once we're there, uh, either log in or sign up, um, do whatever you need to do. And then once you've done that, you'll be greeted with this page. So once you're on this page here, just go to the top right corner, uh, click view API keys. Then once you're there, create a new secret key, copy that over. Once we have that, we're gonna hop over to our .env and what we're gonna type is openai underscore API underscore key and paste in your key there. Next, we're gonna be building out our backend.js file. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna require a number of packages. So we're gonna be requiring express, HTTP, socket.io, openai, and .env. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to load in the environment variables. Next, we're going to write this to establish our server. Next, we're gonna create the OpenAI API client. Then we're gonna serve the static files that we created in the public directory. And when the user hits localhost, they're gonna serve up that index.html file. So next what we're, we're gonna do, we're gonna create a function where it takes in the name, model, and prompt. And from here, this is where we're gonna be sorting a little bit about what we wanna do here and what model, model we wanna interact with. So first it's gonna decide whether the user decides between Dolly or GPT-3, and then it's simply going to query the respective models. So if it's an image, it's gonna return the image URL. And if it's using a GPT-3, it's gonna return the uh, uh, text response. And then once we have that text response, we're gonna send that back to the client with this io.emit. Finally, we're going to listen for the connection of a user when they first hit the site. We're gonna listen for a chat message. 
And then we're also going to return and emit that chat message to everyone and then query our prompt AI. And then finally, we're just gonna listen for the server. Next, we're gonna install that list of packages that we saw in the last clip there. So we're gonna first initialize our directory and then we're gonna install socket.io, openai.env, and express. Once we have those, we're just gonna start our server. Now that we started our server, we're gonna pop over to Chrome and go to localhost 3000. Feel free to open this up in multiple tabs or multiple windows and play around with it. So this is what we just built. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one.